by Moses Naimori published Mon, October 2, 2017 at 0000, updated October 2, 2017 at 0809 GMT3 Statehouse spokesperson Mano Esipisu photo courtesy Statehouse has warned opposition leaders against using the current election stalemate to cause chaos in the country. Spokesperson Mano Esipisu described opposition leaders as hell-bent on doing everything to achieve their political desires. Also read Nairobi Business Community vows to counter NASA protests Esipisu said this country has institutions, and so demagogues really have to find their space, because institutions in this country will be allowed to run. Street protests will not fix some of the contested issues. I asked the opposition top leadership to engage within the established institutions such as parliament, Esipisu said. There's a point of principle here we have no business giving in to those who think the way to change rules in a democracy is to use force against civilians and institutions. He said this even as the opposition notified the police about the protests to eject some poll officials they accuse of bungling the August 8 presidential election. NASA coalition leaders said they were within their rights to picket and ask the police to provide security during the procession around anniversary towers. They said they will ensure the demonstrations will be peaceful and orderly. They said the coalition had made arrangements for peace marshals to guide and manage the demonstrators. In Kichui, Senator Anak Wambua has accused the police of trying to muzzle the people's right to protest. He said his notification to the police was rejected but vowed to lead his constituents in staging the demos. Also read hearings on proposed law changes begin amid standoff this country is headed to very dark days ahead. Police in Kichui are telling me they will not allow NASA demonstrations following orders from above. But we are not seeking permission from anyone to hold peaceful demonstrations, said Mr. Wambua. Esipisu accused the opposition leaders of undermining the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, citing demands by NASA leader Rila Odinga.